If you wish to make a game from scratch, you must first invent the universe. But why would you want to do that? There's a beef between engine users and a non-engine users saying that if you use a game engine, you aren't a real programmer. Sure, game engines make it easier, but in my opinion, using other people's tools doesn't mean you can't make them. You're just taking the time and instead of reinventing the wheel, you're making something better. And in the end of the day, what really matters is making good games. And as long as you do that, everything's fine. To prove my point, I'll make my own programming language and build a game out of it. Okay, that's cool, but how do we actually make the programming language? First, we need to understand that our computer can't read English. But if you want the computer to do something, we need to give it an instructions in zeros and ones. This is the only way we can make the computer execute our commands. That's why these files are called exe files. But writing in zeros and ones is basically impossible. That's why programming languages were created. Their goal is to make it easier for the developer to write and understand what he writes, while also being able to translate it into commands that the computer can execute. But to turn a file from a programming language file to an exe file, we need to go through something. That translator could be something called a compiler or an interpreter. A compiler takes a file and turn it into an exe file and the interpreter does it in real time. But I hate interpreters, so let's just get rid of that. Now, to create a compiler, there's a few ways to do it, but the way I'll choose is source to source. A source to source compiler takes your language file and instead of directly turning it into an executable file, it turns it into a lower language file, usually assembly or C. Then they take this new file and turn it into an exe. I chose that because I don't want to learn LLVM and I already know how to program in C so it should be easier. And I'll make my actual compiler with C++ because that's literally the best language that ever exists so I'll use that. So we know how to do it but now is the fun part where we decide how the language should actually look like. First, with creating variables, I really like how Godot does it where in Godot you need to type var and the name of the variable you want and the program automatically knows what type of variable you want to put there. But making the compiler automatically knows what type of variable you want to put there is very hard, especially because you need to turn it to C. And the problem with C is that you don't even have strings in it, which is crazy. In case you're not familiar with programming languages, a string type is basically just words. So there isn't any reliable way to save strings, but of course there's workarounds, but still it's pretty crazy. But after I figured that out, I made it so there's variables. So you need to type box, then the name, and the arrows that points where you put the value in. And it automatically knows that when I put three, I meant an int value. I also added right and right line, and as you can see, it prints 3 as normal, so everything's going good. I then added more complex stuff, like for example, now you can write multiple variables in the same right line, and you can have some long calculations that still work. So now I multiply num by 10 and add 4 times 2, which is 2, so as you can see, it ends up in 12 and this is the right answer. Now I wanted to tackle the string problem and as I said before string is very annoying to do in C because every time you want to add stuff to a string you need to allocate new memory because C doesn't actually automatically do that but I managed to do it in my language so as you can see you can type my name and add your name and now when you write it it brings both of the strings together. But not being able to get input from the user is not really nice. So I added the input thing and as you can see when I ask for the user's name, I can put my name in and it prints my name. And I also can put a max to the word. So now I put max 6 and as you can see it prints the first 6 letters. And logically the next step is adding if statements and it's kind of cursed because instead of two equals in my if statements you only need one. But yeah I quickly made this code and it gets your name and if it's little baboon then it says hello little baboon and if not it says that you should subscribe. 
So we're towards the end of the video and I just wanted to say before we end the video that a lot of these things I kind of glossed over and they're way more complex than they look. The entire code took me 1200 lines of code to make that compiler and I only got to if statements which is kind of crazy but I'll definitely keep improving the programming language and hopefully in the next video I'll show you something cool but if not I'll see you in the next video, but yeah, bye-bye.